Hi, I'm Bobby Pierre with Tap Into, and I'm here for my weekly catch up with Mayor Angie Devaney. Hi, Angie. Hey, Bobby. Happy to be here. And I'm happy to have you here. So um, we had a council meeting this past week, and there was a lot of um, action that passed. Um, and I know the budget was introduced, but let's go into the um, services that I think will really make our community happy. So we had um, the passing of, I guess we assigned a bulk pickup um, service contract. Um, and then we also had something about the safe routes to transit. Maybe you can further the, the discussion on exactly what is the safe routes to transit grant. Sure, no problem. So that is a uh, grant uh, application that was actually uh, authored uh, by the previous administration, I think back in 2018, we found out in 2019 that we did um, receive that grant award over 400. It was a while ago. It was, and we had two years um, to actually award a contract um, to somebody who was going to come in and do the sidewalk work. Um, as everybody knows, we had a global pandemic in 2020. So, <laughs> what else <laughs> so, happened? <laughs> yeah, there was really not much more going on. Um, so it didn't really make sense for the township to uh, to start that kind of work and to expend those funds um, because we had the zero percent increase in the municipal budget last year. So we really had until early April to award the contract to to the vendor, um, and we did that on Tuesday at the council meeting. Um, okay. So it's it's really um, the program is really providing sidewalk and a safe route to transit to the train station in this instance. Um, some people may have heard of safe routes to schools. Um, we've applied for those grants as well. Haven't been as successful yet. Um, I'm hopeful though. Um, so this work will really be the area around the train station. So Plainfield Avenue, Roosevelt, um, it's really meant to improve the connectivity um, south of the train station. Uh, which will be inclusive of Columbia Middle School. So it's really oh, a two right. So it goes yeah. far out. Um, and so when will the work be started and what does the work entail? How will it affect maybe uh, traffic, um, pedestrian walking, and so forth? Uh, sure. So I believe the work will probably start um, in, in likely in June. Um, okay. There's all those great pre-construction meetings that our engineer has to have um, sort of work out, map out um, what's going to happen with the police department too, in terms of, um, you know, as school is, um, of course, <laughs> as school, uh, <laughs> working from home, right? Uh, right? As school is still in session and kids are still walking and biking and we have so many residents out there um, walking that we're gonna try to, um, schedule it as best that we can, but just be mindful that work might be going on during school hours and um, just to sort of be extra cautious when using those that that area in the Plainfield Avenue. So there'll be more obviously police uh, directing the traffic and we know that the kids love to ride their bikes um, definitely to Columbia Park, but also they use some of those streets to get to Snyder Avenue Park and the YMCA and so forth and the pool. Right, exactly. And that's part of why it's important for the police department and the traffic unit to be involved because we may need to reroute um, traffic at certain times to cert certain roadways won't be uh, open and uh, you know, uh, residents will just have to use an alternate route until the work is done. The work is probably going to go uh, beyond September. Um, okay. we, we are, you know, we're hopeful that it'll get done before school. The likelihood is though, uh, that's not the case that it'll more than likely be mid to late um, fall um, and okay. to weather, right? Uh, you know, unfortunately yeah. with outside work. Now there's tree work involved as well, right? Aside from the sidewalks, there needs to be tree removal maybe, or just the trimming of trees. What is, right. how does so this begin? No, exactly. So, so that is part of the prep work before the sidewalks are actually uh, laid. Um, I know that our township engineer and the and you know the administration will work with the environmental commission. Um, you know the trees that are removed. How can we do some replantings um, that are in an appropriate area? I think one of the biggest problems that we have in Berkeley Heights is uh, with our sidewalks, our tree roots um, popping up yeah. our sidewalks and making them unsafe. So we need to replant in an area. Not only that isn't in the way of the, the new sidewalks, but also not in the way of the power lines because that's um, the cause of a lot of our outages in Berkeley Heights. 
a question I have, um, I have lived on a main street in Berkeley Heights for many, many years. And typically the homeowner is responsible to replace the sidewalk um, with a cement versus the asphalt. So what type of sidewalk will go in with this project? So with this project, they will be cement. It'll, it'll okay. be, you know, a, a, hopefully a longer lasting quality project. Yeah, does it include curbing as well? Or do we already have curbs on most of those streets? We already have curbing on most of those streets to my knowledge. <laughs> um, so there's, there's some area on Roosevelt um, that's also included, um, which will be nice uh, when the toll project, which is the old Little Flower uh, Church right. area. So that'll help too with uh, new residents moving in. Um, again, like you said, cut through to Snyder Avenue Park for, for our kids who are out walking, biking, that kind of thing. So that'll help give them another route or opportunity um, to get to those areas as well. But the train station is the big thing. Obviously, we want people to be able to walk, yes. uh, bike, and not have to use their, their cars to get to the train station. Excellent. So let's get to, and of course, we see on Facebook, uh, people get excited when we announce uh, the bulk pickup. I know I'm excited. I have a lot to get rid of. So that was also passed in the last meeting, correct? It, it, that's correct. It's almost like a holiday in Berkeley Heights. Bulk <laughs> pickup, you know, week, month. Um, just want to remind residents that uh, when it is your turn or your section, make sure all of your items are out at the curb by um, 7 a.m. We're going to start in section one on May. So it'll be the month of May. Okay. Uh, all, all five sections. Um, and the goal is um, to get the town cleaned up. So um, we're hopeful that we'll have graduation parties and other events in June. So we're trying to get the, the town cleaned up and looking great for June. Um, so we're going to start uh, May third and May 4th with section one. And then um, it goes in sort of a little bit of a reverse order. And then we're going to finish with section two, uh, approximately on the 17th and 18th. Okay. But check the website for the actual or tap into for the actual yeah. schedule. <laughs> Absolutely. And there's, there's rules as well as to what can be thrown away and how to throw away certain things for safety purposes. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, so check it out. There are some guidelines. So it's important. Uh, you don't want to drag something out to the curb and then it's not accepted. Great. Well, thank you for this catch up. I know we have so much more we can talk about, but we'll save it for next week. Sounds great.